Hi, Sam here with CAD Productivity. Welcome to Civil CAD Consultants Express tip on tracking magic. Whenever you execute the track horizontal alignments command, the active alignment is always the one that's tracked. That's where the stationing comes from, the offset is to your cursor, the elevation is the elevation of the vertical alignment at that station, the grade is the longitudinal grade of the vertical alignment, and the radius is the radius of any curve where you're tracking. Notice in this area the offsets are in the 250 to 300 range. However, if I go and click on another alignment, you'll notice that the offset is to that alignment. So I'm actually tracking the distance between the two alignments perpendicular to the active. It's a little more obvious if I pull my cursor over to this side and you can see that it is still tracking between the two alignments. Reset once and you're back to tracking the active alignment. How many times have you activated the tracking command only to realize you're tracking the wrong alignment or perhaps you're in the middle of tracking an alignment and decides you need to switch alignments? No longer do you have to make another alignment active and reactivate the command. If you'll move your cursor to the alignment you want to switch the tracking to, then press your control key it will begin tracking that alignment. It doesn't make it active, it just begins tracking it. So if I move my cursor over to a different alignment, press the control key, and magic, it starts tracking that alignment. You can also track between the two alignments by clicking. Then just like before, it tracks from one alignment to another. Thanks for watching. You can view more tips for MicroStation and inroads at civilcadconsultant.com.